ಜೀವನ್ಮುಕ್ತಿಪ್ರದಂ ದೇವ ಕ್ಷಮಾಪೂರ್ಣ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಹಂ ಸಾಖ್ಯಂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಜೀವನ್ಮುಕ್ತಿಪ್ರದ ಕ್ಷಮಾಪೂರ್ಣ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಹಂ ಸಾಖ್ಯಂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಆನಂದಾನುಭವಾಸ್ವಾದ ಸರ್ವರೋಗ ನಿವಾರಕ ವಂದೇ ಪಾಪ ವಿನಾಶಕ್ತ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಆನಂದಾನುಭವಾಸ್ವಾದ ಸರ್ವರೋಗ ನಿವಾರಕ ವಂದೇ ಪಾಪ ವಿನಾಶಕ್ತ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಈ ಶತಾಬ್ದಪು ಮರುಗಲೇನಿ ಪೋಲಿಕಲೇನಿ ಒಕ ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಒಕ ಅಂತರ್ಜಾತೀಯ ಸಾಂಘಿಕ ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಪ್ರಭಂಜನಾನ್ನಿ ಸ್ಥಾಪಿಸಿನ ಒಕ ಅದ್ಭುತ ಶಕ್ತಿ ವೈದಿಕ ಧರ್ಮಾನ್ನಿ ಪುನರುದ್ಧರಿಸಡಾನಿಗೆ ಉದ್ಭವಿಸಿನ ಒಕ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಆಯನ ಅತಿ ಪವಿತ್ರಮೈನ ತಿರುವಣ್ಣಾಮಲೈ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಲ್ಲೋ ಜನ್ಮಿಂಚಾರು ಒಕ ಯೋಗಿಗ ಜನ್ಮಿಂಚಿ ತನಲೋ ಸಹಜಂಗಾನೇ ಪೊಂಗಿ ಪೊರ್ಲೆ ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕತನು ಕೋಟ್ಲ ಮಂದಿಗೆ ಪಂಚುತು ಸ್ಫೂರ್ತಿನಿಚ್ಚೇ ಒಕ ಅಮೋಘ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಅತಿ ಪುರಾತನಮೈನ ಯೋಗ ವಿದ್ಯಲೋ ಪ್ರಾವೀಣ್ಯಂ ಕಲಿಗಿ ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಾನ್ನಿ ಕ್ಷುಣ್ಣಂಗಾ ಪರಿಶೋಧನೆ ಚೇಸಿನ ಒಕ ಮಹಾದ್ಭುತಮೈನ ಅಂತಃ ಪ್ರಪಂಚಪು ಪರಿಶೋಧಕಲು ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನಾನ್ನಿ ಪ್ರಸಾದಿಂಚೇ ಗುರುವಲು ಪ್ರತಿ ಸಂವತ್ಸರೋ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಆಯನ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಮೃತಾನ್ನಿ ಆನಂದಂ ವೆದಜಲ್ಲೇ ಆಯನ ಚಿರುನವುನಿ ತಿರುಗುಲೇನಿ ಆಯನ ದೀಕ್ಷ ಯೊಕ್ಕ ಶಕ್ತಿನಿ ಒಕ ಕೋಟಿಗೆ ಪೈಗಾ ಉನ್ನ ಆಯನ ಶಿಶುಲಕು ಪಂಚುತನ್ನಾರು ಇಪ್ಪುಡು ಪರಮಹಂಸ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಮೀರು ಜೀವನ್ಮುಕ್ತುಲುಗಾ ಜೀವಿಂಚಟಾನಿಕಿ ತೋಡ್ಪಡೆ ಪರಿಷ್ಕಾರಾಲನು ಮೀಕು ಅಂದಚೇಸ್ತುನ್ನಾರು ಒಕ ಮರುವಲೇನಿ ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಅನುಭವಂ ಕೊರಕು ಮಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ವೆಂಠನೇ ಸಂಪ್ರದಿಂಚಂಡಿ ವಂದೇ ಸನಾತನ ಪುಣ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ವೇದ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸಂವೇದ್ಯ ದೇವದೇವೀಶ್ವರೂಪಿಣ ವಂದೇ ಮಠಫಲಾಶಿಸ್ಥ experiences the divine energy in my existence and execution having surrendered his body does not return to the human form but attains my state i'll define each technical term the one who truly experiences the divine energy what is divine where your mind and logic patterns completely leave you that space is divine if you are still holding on to your pattern you are not realizing the divine for example if you realize the divine in in a stone in front of that stone all your patterns will be dropped you will just experience something beyond your mind's comprehension beyond your perception i have seen see i can tell you very clearly who is a real devotee and who is a crooked who sees divine and who sees divide i tell you the difference between whether you are seeing divine or not actually when i sit and listen to somebody you should be rest assured i am going to listen to yours also it should be inspiring you when i bless somebody when i shower something on somebody you should feel as if wow it is done to you itself then you are divine then you are seeing divine in me see money put as a alcohol shop and money put as a temple there is a difference same way the energy put on some fools and energy put on organizers there is a difference if i put energy on these organizers they will become like my temples divine let me define that word divine whenever you don't divide and 
perceive the whole with the whole picture you perceive divine next word in my existence and execution i think this two word i have explained existence means the presence the air you carry around you execution means the way you express yourself having surrendered his body does not return to human form understand so the existence and execution when both have been perceived because once you evolve you are very biology will go through a mutation i am going to prove people have become enlightened only by physiological mutation psychological mutation there is no measurement understand there is no measurement to prove this fellow is gone beyond anger beyond hatred beyond love beyond lust beyond comparison he has he has become pure consciousness there is no scale psychologically but now physiologically it can be proved because all psychological impacts go happens in physiologically also it doesn't stop with psychology when it is really honest integrated impact it enters into the physiology also by the end of this year i'll prove now i decided only by the physiological mutation it should be proved because enlightenment penetrates to the level of physiology we'll do the clear medical test how many dna layers are vacant what is the mitochondria cell energy level and what is the serum level how each internal organ is influenced by this enlightenment experience we will prove through the physiological mutation because the mind just one slip loses the whole spiritual strength hey even narada could not cross this one day narada and vishnu both were having a evening walk this narada is like a news spreader media those days media and tells the news with a lot of spice so vishnu and narada both were walking suddenly narada asked lord what is maya vishnu said it cannot be explained it should only be experienced narada said no 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 i want to experience show me maya vishnu said hey you are asking dangerous thing no 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 don't ask it is a, you may get caught narada you know no 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 your name is there i'll chant narayana narayana no maya can catch me i'll escape vishnu says no maya will make you even forget my name that is the problem don't take this risk you know narada when when they catch they catch then finally vishnu suddenly starts having the hiccups hiccups and narada says come on lord please drink the water because there was nearby river vishnu says no 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 this area is all dirty you go upstream little bit and there's a clean water get that for me to drink narada says what is there he ran there suddenly when he was about to pick up the water he saw a beautiful girl kalpataru meeloni kundalini shaktini telusukogala oka pratyeka karyakramamu kalpataru poorthiga oka roju jarige ee karyakramamulo aarogyakaramaina adbhutamaina maarpulu pondagalaru avatara murti paramahamsa nityananda swami vari aashishulanu pratyekanga pondagala karyakramam kalpataru kundalini ante emiti కుండలిని అంటే ప్రతి ఒక్కరిలోనూ దాగి ఉన్న అద్భుత శక్తి కుండలిని శక్తి ఒక ధ్యానోదయమైన గురుదేవుల దీక్షతో చైతన్యపరచవచ్చు ఈ కుండలిని శక్తి మీ జీవితంలో అన్ని దశలలోను అభివృద్ధికరమైన మార్పులు తేగలిగే శక్తి అది మీలో ఆరోగ్యాన్ని ఐశ్వర్యాన్ని విజయాన్ని ఆనందాన్ని ఆధ్యాత్మిక ధ్యానోదయాన్ని కలిగిస్తుంది ప్రతి వారాంతములో కల్పతరు కార్యక్రమం బిడిది ఆశ్రమంలో నిర్వహించబడును మమ్మల్ని సంప్రదించవలసిన చిరునామా నిత్యానంద ధ్యానపీఠం నిత్యానంద నగర్ బిడది ఐదు ఆరు రెండు ఒకటి సున్నా తొమ్మిది బెంగళూరు ఫోన్ చేయవలసిన నంబరు 
సున్నా తొమ్మిది ఐదు ఐదు సున్నా 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 ఐదు ఐదు సున్నా లేదా సున్నా తొమ్మిది ఆరు ఒకటి ఎనిమిది ఐదు ఒకటి తొమ్మిది ఏడు సున్నా ఒకటి మా వెబ్సైట్ డబ్ల్యూడబ్ల్యూడబ్ల్యూ నిత్యానంద డాట్ ఓఆర్జీ now you know the story he fell for her she fell for him finally he got married and built a house settled down had five kids huge wealth he forgot he came to take water for vishnu and finally one day heavy flood on the river whole house is flooded and narada has to cross the river to the safe place he is having all his treasury diamond gold everything on his head holding wife in one hand holding all the other five kids by another hand trying to float move but the current is so heavy then anyhow he is struggling to reach the safe place suddenly he sees current is too much he can't handle it anymore so he feels all right if i have wife at least i can have more kids so he leaves one or two kids so that he feels anyhow otherwise also finally i have one male one female kid then after some time more current he leaves all the kids after some time he feels current is so strong i don't think i can make it with my wife at least i'll i will reach the shore so that i can marry once more <laughs> so finally when his wife is also taken away by the flood he shouts screams that is the moment he remembers oh god too much of suffering the moment he uttered oh god he remembered the name narayana 
the moment he uttered narayana he heard the sound of vishnu uh, uh, he heard the reply back narada where are you i am waiting for water he woke up from the whole thing and said oh narayana now i understand what is your maya <laughs> he realized the whole thing is a dream <laughs> this is maya understand this is maya finally narada comes and falls at the feet of vishnu and he stands up vishnu says first thing you should have understood can i have a hiccup when you missed my divine existence and execution that is where maya could enter you you thinking me having a hiccup how can i have a hiccup when the amrita varsha is going on amrita sagara is in my throat and rain of amrita shower of amrita is happening through my tongue the source of amrita saraswati when she is residing in my tongue how can i have a hiccup vishnu has i am lying down in the ocean milk can't i just stretch my hand and drink a little milk and it is not even ordinary milk it's a this is the zen cone for today how can vishnu have a hiccup mama maya duradhyaya my illusion difficult to cross vishnu has narada you are seeing me for ages have you seen me having hiccup narada said yes but how did i fall even though my personal experience with you never says you had hiccups or you could have had hiccups how did i fall for it when the doubt in the existence and execution starts maya starts delusion starts the person who sees the divine in existence and execution surrenders is very body and never again takes human form daivi hesha gunamayi mama maya duradhyaya mam eva ye pravatyante mayam etam tarantite my divine illusion made up of the qualities of nature very difficult to cross over it's only by my grace it is crossed over it's bhagwan's sri krishna's words very powerful word narada did not even remember narayana and did not even feel by calling narayana is going to be helped only at that moment where nothing can be done everything is lost he took a chance oh god that also he said oh god only because he is already so deeply devoted in the inner space deep layer suddenly opened up and changed the word from a god to narayana being filled with me they surrender to me and attain my state bhagavan is very beautifully using the word jnana tapasa who have been burnt by wisdom filled by wisdom madbhava magataha sanctified filled by me is giving you do's and don'ts to experience his state bhagwan is not asking you to do all this he is explaining the state when all this happens in you he says you achieve his state because if you start doing it will be too ugly i tell you anything when you do it it's ugly anything which overflows in you is beautiful even anger of shiva is more beautiful then the love of the dog i tell you anything from the higher conscious being raises you whether is love or is anger whether i look at you with the deep intense love or boiling anger or tremendous sympathy and concern you are raised to my level understand my expression to you 
whatever it may be is my way of reaching out to you if you decide to stand in the same place without running away you will be raised to the space of me because if it is love it will just melt away all other part in you which is other than me if it is anger it will just burn away all other parts in you other than me whether it is a melting or burning it is going to take away everything other than me in you what with melting it is little juicy and path is also easy with burning the path is little difficult that's all other than that anything from the higher being raises you to that space anything from lower being puts you into that space i'm working with few of the disciples a unique experiment making them write continuously all their mood swings from morning till night few of them are doing it some inner awakening participants some ashramites or oh, nice thing whoever i have given this practice this experiment practice they are so beautifully open to me means honest even to fight with me if they have something against me they are very honest of course that is the reason i gave them this even this experiment now when i was studying all of that continuously i could see very clearly the most fragile object on the planet earth is human mind you don't even need a stone to break it just is enough to break it the most sensitive object if one concept one idea they have if that is touched that is what i call first point and pus point just the point where pus is stored the moment you put your finger there they create such a big fuss but unless i remove the pus how can i do the surgery and how can i put the medicine doctor is supposed to be putting the medicine ramakrishna says very beautifully till you go on questioning why kali has sword in her hand you will never understand the compassionate boon giving hands kali is a mystery cosmos is a mystery mystery will remain as a mystery only when you drop your frames and concepts even if it seems to be such powerful honest greatest truth the moment you touch it understand however sweet tasty food it may be the moment it has gone inside your mouth it has become ఒక అవతార పురుషుని దివ్య సలహాలు నేరుగా పొందాలనుకుంటున్నారా ఇప్పుడు మీకు పరమహంసతో ముఖాముఖి పరమహంస నిత్యానంద మరొక్కసారి పోలిక లేని ఒక విభిన్నమైన కానుకను ప్రపంచానికి అందజేస్తున్నారు ఆయన ఇప్పుడు ప్రతిరోజు ఉదయం ప్రత్యక్ష ప్రసారం అయ్యే సత్సంగంలో మీ ప్రశ్నలకి జవాబు ఇవ్వడానికి సిద్ధముగా ఉన్నారు ఉదయం ఎనిమిది గంటలకు మా నంబరు సున్నా ఎనిమిది సున్నా రెండు ఏడు రెండు ఏడు తొమ్మిది 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 తొమ్మిదికి ఫోన్ చేసే అదృష్టవంతులకు ఆయనతో నేరుగా మాట్లాడే దివ్యమైన అవకాశం దక్కుతుంది మరియు ఉదయం ప్రత్యక్ష ప్రసారం అయ్యే సత్సంగం ఎన్ టీవీ డాట్ నిత్యానంద డాట్ ఓఆర్జీలో చూడగలరు the moment your mind touched it it has become that is why i always tell people listen to your body 
how your body responds because body is natural mind is societal so many things i have discovered during the studying studying the human minds how human mind wants something but the moment it feels it is going to get it it does not have respect for that and takes the same thing for granted see before getting money whether it is a person or a status or a object or wealth or anything before getting it you feel that is god for you once you get it you feel you are god for that how our mind plays with our self how our mind abuses our own existence the beings in whom jnana tapasa means burnt by the wisdom happens they attain my state that is what bhagwan says in gita jnana tapasa means burn 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 your inner space continuously with tapas i tell you the more you burn it by tapas you are even your desires go to the higher frequency your taste becomes higher your taste shows who you are once the jnana tapasa happens even your taste for your inner space changes your whole body and mind goes through the highest transformation i tell you tapas is nothing but raising your taste level to the higher and higher and higher level that's all that is what is tapas that is why when somebody brings up some deep prayers if it is really right for that person i bless that person already let this become your bio memory means purified inner space let your inner space be purified by this one fulfillment let the jnana tapasa happen with this one truth each word in this sutra is a technical term raga means intense passion bhaya means intense fear krodha means the fight between intense fear and raga at passion see passion is one extreme bhaya is another one extreme krodha means moving between these two extremes this oscillation that is called krodha when your honesty whether it is love or anger or fear anything when it honestly becomes your bio memory it will not have any more the negative qualities of attachment fear and anger see why are they negative because they jump from one to another because of their internal conflict and contradictions they become negative if the internal contradictions and conflicts disappear just pure passion is not negative pure fear is not negative pure anger is not negative in pure passion you become one with the cosmos in pure fear you disappear once for all in pure anger there is nothing else only when the movement between passion fear and anger is happening it brings negative effect it brings suffering any one whether it is a passion or it is a fear or it is anger when it goes to the depth of your being it becomes pure anything pure does not have negative side effect 